Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. M over 2 times M over 2 equals 2 over M. We are to provide the complete solution to this problem. And to do that, we would multiply what we have on the left. So M times M, that would be M squared over 2 times 2, that is 4, right? So this will now be 2 over M, right? Then at this point, we can cross multiply. So we have um, M to the power of 2 times M equals 4 times 2. 4 times 2. So this means that our m to the power of 3 is equal to 8. Remember m squared times m, it means that you should pick one of the bases which is m, then the power of m here is invisible 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. But then we can write it in this form. So we have m to the power of 3 equals 8 is 2 to the power of 3. So that means it's easier for us now. But if we equate the basis, m will be 2. And that will be the only solution. But we need more than one solution. So let's bring this to the left. m to the power of 3 will now be, okay, minus. This will be 2 to the power of 3. And everything is 0. So from here... What do we do? We we are going to apply um this um standard. If you have um a to the power of three minus b to the power of three, this is the same thing as a minus b into a a squared plus a b. This is plus a b then plus b squared so this is um the standard for difference of cube just like we have for difference of two squares now our a is now m and our b is 2 so let's substitute into this so this right here will now be a minus b which will be m minus 2 close that then in the second, a squared will now be m squared. Then plus a is m. Multiply. Okay, let me turn this. Multiply by um, the b. And our b is 2. Then plus b squared, which will now be 2 squared. Then everything equals 0. m minus 2. Is a factor and then from here we have m squared plus 2m that is m times 2 then plus 4 everything is equal to 0 now from here do we discover that we are multiplying these two factors to get 0 so either of them or both of them must be equal to 0 so we begin with this our m minus 2 should be equal to 0 and this means that m is equal to 0 plus 2 as we add the additive inverse of minus 2 uh, m is equal to 2 and this is a real solution now to get the other solution i will go back to this quadratic um factor we we'll equate it to 0 so it becomes a quadratic equation m squared plus 2m plus 4 equals 0. Now, remember your quadratic formula because this may not be factorizable. So your quadratic formula is um, m. Okay, m becomes a subject if it is what you're finding in the quadratic equation. So we're looking for m. It will now be minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac then we divide all this by 2a but then you have to know your abc 
a is the coefficient of m squared it is 1 b is the coefficient of m it is 2 and then our c is equal to 4 that is the constant in the quadratic equation now let us substitute into the equation so our m will now be minus b which will be minus 2 now plus or minus b squared will now be 2 squared minus 4 times a times c our c is 4 so if we go ahead with this we'll have um, okay this is divided by 2 times 1 that will still be 2 so that our m will now be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 16 because 2 squared is 4 4 times 1 times 4 is 16 then we divide by 2 if we continue our m will be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 16 is minus 12 so we have this over 2 okay now let me proceed okay so we'll proceed from here so that m will now be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 12 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2 square root of 12 times square root of negative 1 will give us square root of negative 12 so we have not changed anything now we can proceed and then we what we will do now is to simplify this root 12 so we have plus or minus root 12 is the same as 4 times 3 root 4 times 3 then multiply by negative root of negative 1 and we divide by 2 now our m is minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 here is 2 then root 3 will still be there then multiply by i because square root of negative 1 is imaginary i then we divide this by 2 now we can rearrange this so that m will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2 times i is 2i then times root 3 we divide all of this by 2 now our m will be 2 into that is minus 1 plus or minus 2 into this will get just i root 3 so this is what we have and this is 2 in 1 now let's bring the three solutions together we had the first one which is m1 and it's equal to 2 then the second is m2 and it's from here minus 1 plus i root 3 that is our m2 then our m3 is minus 1 minus i root 3 so by this we have solved this problem into detail if we start at um getting m to be equal to 2 we'll have only one solution but trust me there are three solutions only one is real and that is m1 equals 2 these other two are imaginary solutions. Thank you for watching.